In the aftermath of Labour's worst performance at the ballot box in 90 years, we took a look at the winners and losers and asked Māori voters for their assessment. Labour's Māori seat winners were grinners. Six out of seven. Isn't that amazing? But the crushing party vote means only 32 MPs are headed for Wellington. With 61 MPs, National has the run of the house. Three more years! Can I acknowledge Adrian Rurafe, the uh, new MP for Titai Hauru. Newbies found themselves in an embarrassing, warring leadership mess. Our constitution provides for either a confidence uh, process or a resignation process, and that will be a matter for the caucus so to will consider. You resign then and trigger it? Uh, uh, that is not my intention. Is Labour stuff? Um, I think so, yes. They're not getting through to the people as they used to. Labour's in trouble, but they're still kicking. <laughs> Hone's gone. Hold on, folks, there's more to come. Kia tato katoa. And Winston, the kingmaker, well, it wasn't to be, although this great mock-up remains. It was a surprise that he didn't get there, and for him, obviously, a disappointment. Still, Māori voters seem happy he's there. He's straight up and honest, and, um, you know, we need that in New Zealand. Oh, he, he the Māori Party lost two seats, but Māori Affairs Minister has a nice ring about it. Do you think that Tūrero Flavel will make a good Māori Affairs Minister? Ai marika, ai, kai te tino uh, harikoa, uh, te ngākau i, i riro tonu i a te ururoa tana tūru uh, me tērā tūranga. Ai. I just feel like he knows how to communicate with our people. He's put in some you know, good hard work this year. Finally, National claims the biggest Māori presence with nine MPs. We asked the voters if they knew who they were. Can you name any National Māori MPs? No. I'm sorry, no, I can't. No. <laughs> no, I can't. Uh, can you name any more? Oh, <laughs> uh, 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 u